here's the problem. A 0.2 kilogram hockey puck is sitting on the ice. A player exerts 156 newtons of force over 1.5 meters. I believe it's 1,560 on the old one. So just cross out the zero. Okay. Um, over 1.5 meters. How much work does the hockey player do on the puck? And assuming the puck starts at rest, what's the final velocity? I think the old version, it said it starts at like 1.7 or so. Just make it rest. I'm, I'm making the problem easier. Okay. So, how much work does the hockey player do? So, work is equal to force times a distance. So, what I need to do is figure out how much force is applied and how far it's going for. Now, we've done this a bunch of different ways. Sometimes we found the force by doing FG equals MG. Sometimes we just use the force. So, how do I know what I'm using here? Well, this is only for lifting. or for gravity or things like that. We're not lifting a hockey puck. It says they exert a constant 146 meter uh, Newton force on it. So that's what F is. F is 156 Newtons. And it does it over 1.5 meters, so D is 1.5 meters. So all you have to do for the work is 156 times 1.5 gives me 234. Okay, that obviously is straightforward and easy enough. Here's where things get kind of confusing. Assuming the puck starts at rest, determine the final velocity. So I'm trying to find V final. But this is where people get confused because they're saying to themselves, well, okay, none of these equations have V final. Literally, nothing says VF on it. None of them. So what we need to do is we need to jump back in our minds to notes two from last time. Specifically, the very last thing I said, which was, what measurements are panet panetic, kinetic and potential energies most related with? I said that kinetic went with velocity and potential went with height. So as soon as I see the word final velocity, I'm actually thinking in my brain, final kinetic energy. That's actually what I'm thinking. I'm thinking kinetic energy. I'm not thinking velocity. I'm thinking kinetic energy. So... As soon as I start thinking kinetic energy, I say to myself, okay, where does final kinetic energy come in? Well, final kinetic energy comes in here with delta Ke. Change in kinetic energy is final minus initial. And the change equals work. So I'm going to be doing this equation here, W equals delta Ke. I already know what W is. W is 234. I just found it in part A. So now, to do the delta Ke, we're doing that final minus initial like we've done before. So just like last unit, change in kinetic is final kinetic minus initial. So if I want to do this, I need to find the final and the initial. So... Final kinetic is one-half times the mass times the final velocity squared. The initial would be one-half times the mass times the initial velocity squared. And I'm hoping this looks kind of familiar. This is what you did with the momentum chapter, right? You had this equation here, F uh, delta T equals delta P. You found delta P by doing final minus initial. You would find the final by itself, find the initial by itself, and then solve it. That's what you did last unit. That's exactly what we're doing here again. The exact same thing. Just new, new equations is all. So, KEF, 1 half mv squared. So, 1 half times the mass, which is 0.2, times the final velocity. It says what is the final velocity, so it's just v squared. And again, the squared is from the equation. I'm not just making that up. 
okay? The initial one half times the mass times the velocity at the beginning, which it said starts at rest. So vi is zero. Zero squared is zero times 0.2 is zero times one half is zero, so it's all zero. Half of 0.2 is 0.1, so this is 0.1v squared. And now I'm ready to do the delta ke part, final minus initial. So the final is 0.1v squared. The initial is 0. And now all i got to do is solve. Okay? So 234 equals 0.1 v squared. I don't want v by, or I want v by itself, so I'm going to have to divide both sides by 0.1. So the opposite of multiplying by 0.1 is to divide by 0.1. So that gives me 2,340 equals v squared. And when I do that, I got to square root both sides to get just V. And I get a final velocity of 48.4 meters per second.